Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna be potting up our two little Noto cacti. Um, and these two little cuties are what we got earlier this year from um, the, Na the German nursery Captain Haag um, online. And as you can see, they're quite desperate to be repotted. This one here is Noto cactus, Rosilitius, and it has beautiful pink flowers on it. Not that this one has flowered for us yet, but we do have a, a bigger, a bigger Rosilitus um, that has lovely big pink flowers. And we harvested some seed from it um, only the other day, which was very exciting. So we're going to be go growing it from seed. This is obviously a young plant also. <coughs> and this one here is Noto Cactus Minimus. And as you can see, it's a little bit top heavy also. Um, some of the Noto Cacti, most uh, commonly the, the Leningausii, do have a habit of sort of leaning to the one side when they get um, a bit bigger. And this obviously has that same sort of habit. Now, it can be a bit confusing with some of the Noto Cacti and Parodia, Parodia because they are, do seem to be putting them all into the same genus now, um, linking the two together. So apologies if this is now more, more called Parodia Minimus and Parodia Rosilitus, but sometimes you'll see it down as Parodia and sometimes you see it as Noto Cactus. But um, in this case, I'm going to be calling them Noto Cacti because that's what they're labelled. <laughs> and um, now what we'll be potting up is always to pot up in the next size up here. Now, if you want to know how to repot a cactus, and you haven't done it before, then links up above to a video I have made a few years ago now. It's one of my very first videos and it's called How to Repot a Cactus. And I do two examples of cacti, one sort of a tallish one um, and one around, typically the round bowel cacti. And I choose two ones that were quite difficult because they are difficult ones to repot. Um, in this case, this is very easy. Um, so this is more of a little video vlog showing you um, repotting these little babies up into the next size pot. But if you want to know how to repot a cactus, then do watch that video. As I say, links above, and I'll also put the links down below too. So um, let's get going then, guys. Now, what I've done here, I like to make my own soil mix. Let me show you what I've got down there in the little pink bucket. Well, the big pink bucket, I should say. Now... <clears throat> I've mixed here a mixture of um, John Inns number no. two, which is a loam based uh, soil, and I've mixed it with extra horticultural sand for a bit of extra drainage and just a small amount of perlite. Now, usually um, what I do is I often mix sort of three equal parts of a loam based soil, such as John Inns, and um, horticultural sand and perlite or grit. But in this case, I haven't used as much perlite. And the reason being is that these little cacti only go into a, a size a little bit larger up. And they've got also quite a lot of um, grit already in these. I'm going to reuse the same soil a bit, mix it in. And um, these should be pretty much okay. I tend not to like perlite as much as I used to. It has a habit of coming up to the top of the surface. So I prefer to use a bit of extra sand um, for drainage. And uh, John and his co uh, compost are well draining to start off with, which is great. But um, it all depends sometimes on the type of plants I'm using. Like some of the cacti that like a very well drained cactus mixture, such as the de the Mexican types um, that are rot prone, I will use extra grit and extra sand again and extra perlite. But in this case, Perodia can take a little bit more moisture um, than some of the other cacti and as I say because I'm only potting it up literally into the next size pot up they should be absolutely fine now then let's get going before I waffle on any longer <laughs> so first of all we start off with this cutie do you see that you can see me okay yep I've got the habit of putting my hands in front of the camera no one sees nothing so here now I'm going to fill it up first a little bit of soil at the bottom first of all like so haha <laughs> gently press it down there and um, just check how it goes now obviously when you go to pot on you want to be careful that you don't damage the root system this is very important here as I say this is good soil so gently squeeze it off and see that it's gorgeous isn't it adorable and it's always good that when you do repot a cactus I always mention this but check over the root system just to check there's no signs of any root pests such as um, nematodes and um, mealybug root mealybug which tends to be the, the biggest nightmare and um, as long as it's all healthy as in this case it is 
the root ball isn't over isn't tightly matted so it doesn't need to be loosened up just a case then very easy this one gently placing it in as I say I put a bit of soil at the bottom already press it down here you can use if the soil is pretty good you can use the same one in in this case but I always think it's good just to put a bit of fresh on anyway gently press it down and then I'm going to be hold that so it doesn't seem a bit top heavy <coughs> and uh, just putting the soil all around the edges there just gently tapping it in and what I always like to do when I do repot cacti and succulents I always like to leave it a few days before I give them water and the reason why I like to do this is because even though I'm very very careful when I do repot plants in general especially cacti um, <clears throat> is I always try and do any minimal damage um, at all to the roots but sometimes it's inevitable when you are repotting um, plants sometimes just like humans they're going to shock when they've been moved um, suddenly you know they've been in a tight pot and suddenly they've got all this extra space for their roots so it's good just to let it leave the plant dry for a few days so it acclimatizes to its new pot and then um, as long as it's actively grown and it's the spring and summer then you can start to water a little bit again but just go easy just to start off with as in this case I'm going to be keeping this little little guy and this one here dry for about a week before I start to um, gently start back watering it again it's very actively growing at the moment as you can see so there wouldn't be any problems now this is again only my personal choice some people I know pot their plants water them straight away and they have zero problems so it's only just something I like to do I always think it's just like to share what what I do but you know I'm not the expert <laughs> some people all have different methods the person will be keeping this this plant dry just for a few days when I say dry I mean the soil dry <laughs> and uh, there you go noto cactus minimus and um, from cacti and hog so this is doing, doing very well um, a little label on, have, to have it labelled. Little guy's done. Now see how he grows. If he grows very sort of leaning to the side, I might put a little tiny, little little tiny um, pole in there and gently tie him to it so he doesn't wobble over to the side. But it should be okay. So that's the first little guy done. Now the next one we have here, Noto Cactus Rosy Letius, and um, <clears throat> again exactly the same procedure. Gently squeezing it out of the pot and um, again great opportunity to check over the root system because I never know I've never repotted these these two before so I never know what I'm going to see when I see the roots but look pretty good there very good and great root system again it's not tightly compacted so um, I'm not going to loosen up the roots if this was very root bound I'd recommend probably gently teasing the roots very carefully um, so it's easier for it when it takes to its new soil but in this case pretty much loose around there and I always think, as I say, the less you can sort of touch the roots, the better, unless you absolutely have to. So again, putting the soil in, just enough, a few centimetres at the bottom, and there, gently placing him in, in the middle, which is great. And then I like to use these little tiny teaspoons. It's going to go, <coughs> need to use the soil, when it's like that. And um, then gently teasing it down the side. <coughs> Wonderful. The weather's been great here in um, Ireland. And uh, I have to say I've been very lucky because it's a great opportunity for me to get a load of plants repotted. I never like having to repot in the house. And especially when I'm, I like to film videos, it's awkward sometimes with the lighting indoors. But it's lovely when it's lovely, beautiful daylight today. And, uh, then a, one the good thing about these is use a blunt little instrument as in this case the blunt end of the end of the spoon just to gently um, make sure that the soil is all around the pot and I do mention that in the how to repot a cactus video um, you don't want to tie it down really tight because you want the roots to be able to um, breathe and uh, by pressing it down too much you don't want to make the soil go like cement uh, that's it, and a good tip as well helps the soil to fall down the sides. <laughs> as I say, these are very easy cacti to repot, so 
a doddle as they say, no problem repotting these guys. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's the bigger punchers and things like that, the prickly pear cactus and the very tall ones. And we've repotted them all, guys. And uh, I will put a link up above if you want to watch it to um, a link on um, how to repot cacti and succulents. And I think that's one of my playlists where I show you repotting many different types of cacti. And uh, my God, you won't believe it, guys. Um, repotted everything and I know a lot you're going to say why the hell aren't I wearing gloves well I wouldn't recommend anyone repot a cactus without gloves personally this actually isn't really it looks spiny but it really is not hurt it doesn't hurt to touch it's very easy cactus to repot so in this case I wouldn't be using gloves but sometimes with very very spiny cacti um, I often find it's best to actually use cardboard um, to handle it rather than gloves because the spines just go straight through so there you go, that's this little fella done. Notocactus, Rosy Letius, and uh, that's them. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're gonna be going back into the polytunnel now with all their little family and uh, friends. So guys, thanks so much for watching. And thanks for all your amazing support, your incredible comments, and um, all your likes, it means a lot. So thanks a billion, billion, trillion. <laughs> so guys, I want to send you loads of love and happiness and heaps and heaps of cactus and plant power. As always, from Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.